folks, welcome to Corvette Talk with Skaggs. Um, today, as promised, I was going to do a video on oddball Corvettes. And just as I anticipated, there are a lot of oddball Corvettes. So many, in fact, that I actually had to categorize this thing. Um, I'm going to do three separate videos today on just plain old oddball Corvettes. Then I'm going to do another video on concepts and prototypes, odd Corvettes. Then rear engine Corvettes, um, also oddballs. Uh, so it's going to be a three-part segment, and as you can see, i got a lot of stuff laid out here. Um, I don't want the video to be 20 minutes, so we're going to jump right into it. Um, folks, as you can see, i got um, this book I've used before, this book I've used before. Um, Corvette 50 Years by Randy Leffingwell I haven't used before. Um, today I'm going to use a little Keith Martin's Corvette Market. i got Corvette Magazine, i got Vet Magazine. Um, folks, some of these uh, oddball Corvettes are stunningly beautiful, and some of them are but ugly. But like they say, beauty and or ugly is in the eye of the beholder. So bearing that in mind, let's jump right in here. We're gonna start with our Randy Leffingwell um, Corvette 50 years. And our first one here is the Greenwood Station Wagon. Um, wow, that is ugly as you could see. Uh, John Greenwood let, lent his name to a lot of really cool Corvettes. Um, in my opinion, that certainly isn't one of them, but there it is. Um, we're gonna boogie here, moving right along after that one. We got the Duntoff Turbo, okay? Talk about another but ugly Corvette. Um, Zora Arc Arcus Duntoff, after his stunning, illustrious career with Chevrolet and Corvette, decided to endorse this hideous looking thing with ugly headlights, <laughs> ridiculously ugly rear end. But hey, here it is. Uh, it was a turbocharged um, eight cylinder motor and in 1980, you couldn't get a uh, convertible. So if you wanted a convertible, you had to buck up and get this. <laughs> The Zora Arcus Duntoff Turbo. Let's see if there's another picture of it here. No. So there's the uh, Zora Arcus Duntoff Turbo. Moving on from there, we have the Goldstrand GS90. Now this is absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, Dick Goldstrand, I'm gonna do a little special on Dick because he was an absolutely awesome Corvette figure. Uh, in a future video, I'm gonna do um, my Corvette heroes. Uh, Dick Goldstrand happens to be one of them. This is a gorgeous car. Uh, Dick supercharged this thing. This thing. It's based on a C4. You could kind of get an idea that there's a C4 under those beautiful, beautiful lines. Um, here's the motor. Uh, unfortunately, I think Dick Goldstrand's GS90 was kind of doomed from the beginning because the price was 205,000 bucks. So that tends to put a damper on things, but a gorgeous car, as you could see. Uh, moving on, we're going to go to our Corvette by David Newhart. It starts with the Scaglietti. Yes, folks, that is actually a Corvette under that beautiful Italian suit. Um, by replacing the stock fiberglass body with hand-formed aluminum, the finished car was 400 pounds lighter than a regular Corvette. Okay, so this was actually a 1959 chassis motor, and then, uh, well, the interior is unique as well. But a gorgeous car. You could see the <laughs> little Willie settle down. Settle down, baby. Um, and you could see the front and the rear, a beautiful um, fuel-injected uh, 